that soft morning light. As you can tell, I'm not awake yet. And uh, welcome to a day in the life of uh, me. <laughs> As you can see, I have no makeup on. My hair is a mess. Uh, I threw a hat on to <laughs> make myself look a little more presentable. And I'm up at 7 a.m., which is really early for me sometimes because I gotta walk the dog. I'm in my bed. I always do that. I feel like that's really, really key to having a successful day because when I come back from walking the dog, I can't just get back in. It's already made. Um, and then also, when I finally get up, I will throw open all of my windows. There's six of them. Other two over here. And that just kind of, you know, lets the morning light in, as you can see. And that helps my brain to wake up. And I'll, like, pick up my room a little bit. Um, as you can see right here, I've got some laundry i got to go put in. Uh, as you can see, I've put my hat on backwards because I believe it makes me look cooler. Um, it's about 7.30 right now. I used to start my, like, corporate job at 7.45 in the morning. And honestly, I have no idea how I ever freaking did that. And I'm about to go grab my pup. And we're gonna go on a nice little walk, like, every morning. And we live on a really pretty nature preserve, so I'll try to get in some gorgeous footage of what all the foliage and areas look like. <laughs> this is Mountain. You, I am. <laughs> this <is> Goober. <laughs> He's so precious. He's so precious. Ah, uh, yes. That morning pee. It just hits different. Quick shout out to my marigolds. I love all of you equally. You're all beautiful. Keep thriving, queens. As you can see, the neighbor dogs are disturbed by Mountain's presence. He does not care because he is king of the block. Having a dog is super cool because they make you get up and see the morning light and all the glory and beauty of nature while your brain is still like in that alpha wave state still kind of dreamy not quite awake and it's just a really cool great experience so even if you don't have a dog get one um but if let me be like allergic or you're just not able to get one right now um getting up and going outside first thing in the morning really does something i'm telling you guys it just takes you from grumpy to joyful so i recommend that can we just look at the size of this succulent right here like what the hell? Look at this queen. Yes. We're having a sniffy day where we gotta sniff absolutely everything. Come on, come on, dude. By the way, isn't this like the skinniest, most petite St. Bernard you've ever seen? Come on, dude. He said, nope, I gotta sniff it. Okay, this tree is very special because it has these giant air plants all up in it can you see the one back there it's so freaking magical like what oh my god what and it just like drops a bunch of them at a time on the ground and i'm like oh my god you guys do you need me to take you home but like i've already taken hundreds of them home so as you can see, it has gotten a lot brighter out since I was just waking up and I wanted to share with you guys a super pro tip if you have a hard time in the morning sometimes like I do sometimes, get yourself a water bottle. This one is one liter, so 32 ounces. It has to be like probably optimal at least 16 ounces or half a liter. Fill it up the night before and when you wake up, chug that bee and it's going to wake up all of your organs and automatically just help you bring more than more than like drinking a cup of coffee would. Um, so this is something that I like to do before I have my coffee and then, you know, it also helps move things along if you know what I mean. I'm gonna link my how to poop better video right here. Okay, so next I will tidy up my downstairs area and as you can see, my siblings were here last night. They kind of left a mess. So I just love to start out the day with my house, like reset, everything's in its home, everything is picked up. I don't actually do any like dirt cleaning at this time. I do that usually on the weekends. It's just a really great way to start out your day. And look who's here for their breakfast. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm also gonna feed Miss Thing. And I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, so next on the agenda is to water my plants and feed the chickens. So first I have this big old air plant right here and he only really needs some water once a week. He actually, like the name air plant, does not have any roots. These are just kind of like the way he would hold on to the tree. So you just have to like soak him in water once a week and then the rest of the week he gets all his water from the air. Pretty freaking cool if you ask me. I've got a little one over here. This is like his little brother. He's doing all right too. Right here is my gorgeous little snake plant. Doing really well. Leaves are nice and thick. Soil is still a bit moist, so we're good to go on that one. And of course, these are only the indoor plants. Like the garden outside is totally different. It was watered yesterday. I don't need to attend to it today. Um, but you guys, here is my pride and joy. The favorite, if we have favorite kids. This is my string of hearts. And it's named that because if you look, they're like little hearts. How sweet and cute is that? Yeah, I love this thing. And it's a succulent actually, so you don't need to water it that often. I just like to kind of come over and tell it every day that I love it so much. And look, we got a new, a new growth there on the end. Yay. Good morning, ladies. Coming out onto the pasture on this fine Monday morning. Looking so lovely. So here's what their pellets look like. And I just wanted to have a moment of silence for the two cypresses and my rosemary that just didn't make it this winter. Um, I loved you so much and I'm really upset that you didn't make it. But um, maybe I can make some like smudging out of you and let your body uh, serve a purpose. Hello, you're here for your food, I see. Yeah, she said, yeah, <laughs> give me that. All right, gotta put in your feeder, come on. Hey dudes, how we doing? <laughs> we are hungry, we hungry. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of my morning routine has animal and plant care, and it seems like it could be a lot of responsibility, but I actually love it because, you know, I get to st start the day out by um, caring for these cute, innocent little beings. So that just always warms my heart in the morning. And uh, sometimes they don't know how to get back in. They're kind of dumb. Okay, so before morning chores are officially done and I can get to my spiritual practices, I come over here and play with my little baby. She tends to get really hyper in the morning and just wants some lovin's. And of course, I cannot deny her anything because she's just so cute. Okay, so welcome to quiet time where I do my spiritual morning practices. Some people like to do these things and like meditate first thing when they wake up. I personally can't do that because I'm like falling asleep while I'm doing them and my brain is not really on yet. So getting up, getting the chores done and everything set and then coming here to my little meditation station um, really helps me just... Ugh. I, I just love doing this routine so much. So doing it in this order, everything is ready to go for my work day. And then I come up here into my little spot and, oh, it's the Ellie baby. And get my mind and heart really prepared and ready for the day because I do a lot of creative work. I do a lot of counseling-esque work and I really need my intuition to be on point and sharpened and calibrated for the day. And then I also need my heart to be open and kind and soft to people that may not be kind and open and soft to me. If you want to see my morning practices that I do for anxiety, I'm going to link up here my morning anxiety 
quelling routine and I'm also going to link in the description my IG TV video on how I get ready for the day. Pretty much it's just some journaling, some reading, some affirmations, gratitude. I got a little habit tracker planner. Um, I definitely meditate. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of yoga. I try to do some visualizations and of course there's some prayer. So definitely go check those out if you want to see more in depth of what I do here. So without further ado, I'm going to get to it and then we're going to get started with blissful work. Okay, really quick. I'm in the middle of my journaling and baby came down on her little cushion. We got we got our mommy and me meditation cushions. See, here's mine back here. And here's baby's. It's so cute. All right, now that I actually look cute and presentable because I have some makeup on, I gotta refilm that video. And I took some time to go outside and calm down and be like, okay, Savannah, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. I try to do the creative work on Mondays just because it's when I'm fresh and I can be excited about it instead of being like, blah, I have to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna film that video again. Be right back. Okay, so I washed my makeup off and I'm on my way to the gym. Um, I'm not gonna film while I'm in there. I'm just not gonna be that person today with my whole vlog camera get up. But if you're interested in seeing what some of the workouts I do look like, I'll link them right here. Okay guys, so I just did an hour and a half of work. It's really emotionally intensive. So I have worked up an appetite. It's about noon right now, 1130, it's 1130. So I'm gonna go make my first meal of the day. Okay, so we're in the kitchen and oh, Christmas tree is still here. We actually named her Thickmas tree because I mean, just look at her. Today I'm making my staple favorite breakfast, which is um, sauteed vegetables in scrambled eggs. Uh, for me, it's almost more about the vegetables and the eggs are just kind of there for protein sake. And these are from our chickens outside. Um, I do like to eat as little meat as possible because it's very inflammatory and then, you know, you've got the whole animal industry. So I try to be, if I am going to eat meat, I try to be conscious about where I source it from. I don't want to buy anything from animals that have been tortured because to me, honestly, and my friends agree on this with me, you can like legitimately taste the pain and suffering in that sort of meat. In the kitchen with Tristan like a stir fry. I got a little buddy joining me for breakfast. Hi. So here's what I've got. I've got those eggs with the veggies. I've got a honey blueberry avocado toast and I've got cherries from Maine. Next week we are talking about vibration. If you're tired of hearing hippie dips kind of like myself talk about raise your vibration or good vibes and you want to know what the heck does that mean, we're going to be bringing in some science and mindfulness to kind of debunk what's everyone talking about when they talk about vibes or vibrations. Don't forget to give this video a like and if you want to learn more about how to live a more naturally holistic lifestyle then watch one of these two videos right here. Thank you for watching. Have a blissful day and I'll see you in the next one.